van's lifted and you know you've got pretty perfect weather for it. I don't think bad no. Whereabouts are we though? We've got this great weather. Cash Island and Clare now. Cash Island, yeah. Back down in Kerry. Right. Nice to be back. It is. Hi. So I was actually with you the summer. You are, right, yeah? Yeah. And today we're excited, you know, we'll call out to eat the story may as well. Yeah. While I'm down this far. See something different, you know, change the scenery for a while. Mm-hmm. Did you have to go far to get a tinker with your name on it? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have to go too far at all. No. <laughs> There's plenty of them around. <laughs> Uh, it's cold, like, but there's, it's, I'd say, near perfect conditions for uh, you sure. know. You can travel away now since we've frost. Yeah, this time of year, like. It's hardening the road a small bit anyway, make yeah. it easier on us. Aye, the ground's holding up well. They aren't too bad, you pick our corners all right. You know, no, you're going to have a few touchy places. You wonder you're going to come out of them at all. But we started off today at your farm, didn't we? Yeah, we're always... spreading a bit there. Well, I'm doing some few tanks in anyway. Yeah, yeah. Were you, were you getting to the point where you needed to get the tanks emptied in anyway? Yeah, we're fairly full now, all right. Coals yeah. are in there a little bit, so. Glad to see the band come. Yeah, it was wanting that for a while. Mm-hmm. There was lads wondering were they going to get through it or not, trying to find places to put it then. It's all managed to make it this far then? Yeah. So you're managing away with the tankers then? Yeah, and no water. Yeah. So. What size of tanker is that behind us then? The two and a half thousand gallons. Okay, yeah. So this one is the drill bar and the other one is a trail and shoe. What made you go with the trail and shoe and one and drill bar and the other? Well, we only retrofitted the drill bar into this one. Okay, yeah. But we so are just, the, it was just available then? Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the way it was going and with one tank but only splash plate and one with a trail and shoe. So yeah. kind of had to go down the road of putting a triple bar onto this one then. It's cheaper than quite a way buying a new tank, you know? Yeah, but would be, I suppose. And you can do it. I'm sure you have a grant following it as well, so. That's ideal, yeah. Knock a few pounds off it, you know? Yeah. And it's you and your brother out today. Yeah, two of us are out today, two tanks, so. Do you last the right now? We do a bit, nothing. Don't be a big thing, guys, but we do some handful of jobs, all right. Would you consider going the pipes, maybe, someday, if it picked up? So you never ruled it out, anyway. Yeah. Is the way to go for when you're spreading around the yards, so yeah. you can you're not damaging fields or in and out. It's a faster way to go. On it, we also have to the slurry fairly right for it. You're pumping out a couple of hundred meter of hose. Okay, yes. You wouldn't like it to go solid out there, no? No, definitely not. You could end up in a fair tangle. So we're starting a nice AS two six five. Yeah, which is does her job, anyway. Yeah. Quite a big tractor for around this part. Well, it is, but when you're driving three mores off it, you want power. Yeah, oh, definitely. Mm. And sure, you've well, no the hills sh- about here. Yeah, too. you've no shortage of hills, anyway. No. You won't find too many flat fields, anyway, till you come down no, Cash Island not, side. Not many, no. Wouldn't be the simplest to ground out of it. No, and there's plenty of awkward corners, anyway, but. Yeah. Are you pick away? Once you be used to them, you won't take much notice. Yeah. I suppose that's what you. You grown up with? Yeah, we're brought up around it so we don't take any notice of it, so. Yeah. Kind of makes it some way easier in doing this. So you guys are farming at home then? Yeah, we're dairy farming. Were you always at the contract, were you? We were. I was a good few years ago now. I was young anyway. Yeah. And even though I bought his own wagon, putting in our own silage and. Mm. Kind of went from there, really. Yeah, and a few boys just looking at you here and there. Yeah, we used to be helping out lad as well, and he used yeah. to be helping us, and he gave it up, then we kind of took on his side of it. There's three wagons there? Yeah. All behind you? Yeah, there's two jumbos, 60-10s, and a Toro, 55-10. If one breaks, at least the other two can yeah, stay yeah. going. True. You're never stopped. Do you have many issues with them at all? No, no, they're fairly good that way. Yeah, there's a John Deere harvester on the shed as well. Yeah, we bought a harvester there last year, all right. Handy for long draws now, all right. Yeah. So, you can get through it. To slow three wagons, and you're going a couple of miles. And you have two trailers with the three wagons, you won't be long moving. Yeah. The share grass. I think there's plenty of demand then for boys looking at the wagons. There is. There's a lot of lads down around here take wagons, all right. Do a share of the as well. 
Yeah, we make some handful of them all right. Another operation has to be done, I suppose. Yeah. There are a lot of farmers around here have balers themselves as well, yeah. but they still demand for some few lads around the place. Yeah. You find they're good on the hills, do you? Yeah, they're getting there. Sturdy out, in fairness. You wouldn't... You reckon they'd be sturdy on the side of the trailer? Right? I do, I only pull the trailer once a show. Right. I normally, if the house is out, I, it's either me or father that'll be up in it. Right. Some one, two of us. If I'm not mowing, that's what I'd be at. So you think you'll try and push on the harvester side of it? Take as it goes. If, yeah. if it's wanted, it's there. I think there'll always there. be a place for the wagon, alright. There's still a place around here anyway for them, but... You wouldn't know over years now that could change again, like, you just wouldn't know. Could go anywhere. They are the way to move stuff. Of course, you have three big tractors for them then. And just, yeah, he's supposed to be big enough already. What is that? Is it, is all, you're, you're not all massy, are you? No, we have a 720 Fint as well, so... Something different in the fleet anyway. Do you take it you prefer the massy then? Or... Yeah, the Vario is nice in the Fint now, but... Oh, it is. Bailing with it there is a pleasure. If you yes. only drive it off the accelerator and there's no pressing brakes or clutches or... Yeah, I'd say that. I didn't know. The minute the chamber will start closing, you put down the shoe and you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even have to be closed fully. You'll just but, get going. Yeah, this thing here isn't very own, are you? No, she's not. She's that Dyna 7. What but, do you think of the Dyna 7 and her? The Grident is... Don't have no massive trouble with it anyway, but yeah. a lot of splitters all right to go through. But so when you want to get going, you've and fully getting up through them, but they're fine. Yeah. Is doing what we have to do for it anyway. Would you like to try a vario on one of these? Well, it is traded all right for a vario, so time will tell now. We'll see what, what the difference is going to be. The new one all right is the size of us, so we're coming up. In the world that bit anyway. <laughs> you could go down the road GPS if you wanted after time. So she's ready for it, so it's no big deal to put it on it. Same size then? Yeah, yes. 265 again. Yeah. That's the thing about the AS. Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's something different around the place anyway. There aren't a lot of them really about. No, there's none in carry. None in carry? There's stone on it. So. Then well, there might be one soon whenever you trade this in. Well, <laughs> they'll move it off end enough, all right. Many hours on her? Two or two and a half thousand. All right, so it's Something fun. around the lines that. We got a second half, uh, 21. It's hard to keep them all fresh. Same putting tires in them now and whatnot. Whenever it was time to change the fin, would you go on a massive or another fin? And go off into again, I'd say. Do you not see how the, the Vario and the AS goes, the new AS goes? Oh, we'll, we'll do that too, but yeah. nice to have something different in the fleet too. You like a wee bit of variety then? Yeah, sure. One different colour, if nothing else. Handy there, masses are there inside and truly, if we want filters or anything like we'll have them that evening or else following day. Ventilator, is it cork? Up to Edkins, yeah. Oh, we've no trouble either getting back to it and down with them the following day, but even if it's only for plug it in or anything. Yeah. Oh, you've no one down around here with a computer. That's the only catch to that. And any other changes coming in the air? Or? Well, the talks of a set of moors, anyway. How long have so. you had the, the Pointer Mod or set? This was our third year with them, so bottom and second end. Done a right few acres of them, yeah. Right, done some handful in the alloy. Yeah, just ready for a change. Yeah, we're going down the road to Swarters on these ones. Yeah. We used to swart all the grass before, but then when we went to Butterflies, we didn't have sorters on the ones we got. Well, you've one or two rakes out then, you've been tied up in that. Tractor's tied up, so. At least, if ground is half weight, you can swart it. Yeah, I'd so try to dry the ground out of that as well. It'll dry yeah. out the ground, and so at least this way, or it's coming in clean. Aye, at least the, the swaller would leave a nice sward now, in fairness. Yeah, to be more free flowing swart as well, so. Taking its pointer again, you're going for. Yeah, passenger again, yeah. A-tins. Do you like the pointer stuff? We don't have no trouble with it. And if you need parts, it's easy to get them. Okay, you get a local dealer handy then? Well, you've Noonan there in Broadford, or you've Edkins and Cork. Okay, yeah. You'd have parts within the day, and if you didn't, you'd definitely have them the following day. It makes a difference, and you can get them like that. No, they don't take nothing. The wagons, tongues and knives, that'd be about it. Blades for the more. Don't take too Just much the more. Kind of the, usual, the basics, like. The usual wear and tear? Yeah. Other than that, there'll be no major stuff. I suppose then, with the, 
wagon work, you can keep it in the family that a lot of the workers. Well, you would keep some hand full of it anyway, but two lads there was full time already. Alright, yeah. So with them all the time, and there's a couple of lads there to come in the evenings and crack like that. How do you keep them busy over the winter during the band? We've one lad's at home, he's at doing cattle every day. Alright, okay, yeah. He's already doing bits of maintenance and things, he's handy that way and he's well able to drive a welder and things like that. That's always good to have someone like that. Yeah. Learn too many. No. We've not led in. We don't dig digger full time during winter. Digger yeah. work maybe busy around here then? Yeah, there's bits of farm work there now, mulching, yeah. tree shears. So. See, you have three dump drillers sitting too. We do with two brothens and a yeah. herps. This gets fairly mayhem. Uh, it's a school you went to as well, isn't it? Oh, it was, yeah. <laughs> Done a lot of listening now inside there. Yeah, say so you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see where that got us. I'd say there'd be a few young lads in there wishing they were where you were. There'd be a lot of lads looking out windows. Nah, I'd say so, yeah. <laughs> We've done it ourselves. Yeah, exactly. And now we're sailing about looking out the window still. Yeah. There's plenty of worse places about the country to be looking out the window at. There, it was always worse. Didn't be it anyway. Yeah, that day we were out of grass was lovely. Oh, up on top of Cordell, yeah. yeah. No, as you can see back into Tralee and yeah. see Cash Island and see around the place all right. Nah, it was a lovely spot. Right? Yeah. Uh, the three wagons, some spectacle. Like, you don't get many wagons up at home. No, I was here all have struck them. Then they say them you put your wagons or something to chop grass as well. There's four to be extra noise inside them all right. Do you reckon you can see yourself going that route? At what point do they get too big for around here? I seen one above all right in Noonan's there yeah. a few weeks ago, but it looks like a fair whale to be off now. <laughs> but you can get smaller than that now or not, I don't know, yeah. in the jumbo size. You need plenty of horsepower anyway if you're on them. You need horsepower and gaps. I'd say you need your steering axle all right. Oh, in fairness, with the steering axle you're going anywhere. Yeah. It not want to be bad if you've got bait. They're a fair yoke to follow you around. You wouldn't want to run across your slope though. It's like you're being crouched here. <laughs> be way below you. What shovel have you on there to keep up with the three wagons? We have a Kamatsu 320. She's a fair lump of yoke. It's a fair pig of yoke, all right, but <laughs> you need a shovel all right for wagon grass to that bit longer to get the flick in the pipe, but very yoke known fairness to shove grass. Yeah, like she can fairly climb. To the fair yoke to climb. Unreal. It takes a fair slope now to stall her up. Three wagons coming at you, a lot of boys would take a bit of fear of that. <laughs> All depends on the lead in the pit too. You, would your father be on it most of the time then? Or? He, yeah, he's on it most time. Yes. I'm not lead there. He comes to us, he takes a few days after in the summer and he comes in the evenings. Is that his holiday then? Driving, yeah, yeah. Driving a Kamatsu? He loves it, it's all he used to ever do is nearly put up pit. Yeah. As a fair operator now up in that. He'd, he'd seen on office uh, three or four loads being thrown out before he'd ever show up and... Rub his hands at it? Yeah. <laughs> when he dropped the bike and started pushing, he'd seen on office in the world of it. It's at the end of the day, what you need to keep the jobs really, isn't it? Like yeah. man on the pit. Well, Tinned every lad they can put him up in there. Yeah. Until that's from experience. Yeah. <laughs> I'd done it one day in shit, I'd said it was my last time putting one up. I'm um, too bad when there's walls, but when there's no walls, yeah, it's a different story. So it wouldn't be simple with no walls? No. And there is a lot of that about now. Yeah, there's a lot of open pits. Yeah. There's a lot of lads now. You can get some grant all right, I think, at the it's moment. Up. Yeah, yeah. throw up a slab of walls. Right. Make it cheaper now. The price of everything at the moment, though. It's hard to justify things. But everything's going up, and nothing coming down. Ah, but sure, would you be at anything else? What's that still side of it? You take the good with the bad. If it's easy, won't they all be at it? Digger work maybe pays a bit better, but then... Well, we can't show flow work, anyway. Yeah. Would you enjoy this? Kind of crack a bit better than the digger work. No, or? sure. Something different, anyway. Yeah. Break away from it. Do you much work with the cows then, or? No, I don't do all pile with them. Yeah. I'd milk them fed, I suppose, but that'd be about it. Yeah. I'd fall in all right during the yeah. calving. You had three or four calves there on one day, you would have more. We wouldn't have a massive setup now for that. Not in bed. Calves could be put worse, I suppose. Wouldn't do it full time, but you'll do it when you have to do it, kind of a job. You'd rather be setting up in your ICS then. Yeah, sure. I'll heat her on. Ah, sure. Could you beat it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's great to get catching up with you again, Connor. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. 
It's always a pleasure coming down here now and enjoy a wee trip away. Yeah, a holiday. A holiday, I suppose you could call it that. At the sun, I'm